Well, I saw the Bionics booth over here, and then I ran into Michael, the visitor. How's it going, man? Hey there. How's it going? I think the last time we hung out was near Vancouver at your old warehouse, and I yes. heard something about maybe a new warehouse. Yeah, we uh, we actually moved to a new warehouse in January, and we're based out of North Vancouver. Wow, oh, congrats, my, my original hometown. Expanding? Oh, Things are going yeah. well? Yeah, yeah, we're uh, just... We needed to move to a bigger facility, and uh, now we have a proper facility with with racking and uh, forklift, so we can uh, package up the bikes and ship them out. Uh, all over the place. All over the place. Yeah. Well, tell me about like the latest 2017 gadgets, because this looks pretty fancy. Yeah. This is our brand new model for next year. It's a mountain model, so it's for cross country and light trail riding. Okay. And uh, it's got a bunch of new features. Um, the frame's been totally redesigned and featuring a new semi-integrated battery pack. Um, so it just pops right off. Oh, I like the side slide so you don't have to, you can keep that top tube a little bit lower. Yeah, exactly. Um, so really easy to get on and off. Is that the energy bus I saw over there? Um, the yeah, that's a, a Rosenberger. Rosenberger, uh, yeah, yeah. Connector. Magnetic connector. Um, we have a totally redesigned remote control which has your assist levels and also your throttle button it's, it's neat to see small, that in person know? like I like it yeah you can uh, select which assist level you want uh, it's going to it shows your battery indicator too show right your here. battery throttle trigger throttle one of the only systems on the market that has pedal assist and throttle okay um, it's got a brand new color display it's a transflective display. What does that mean? Because I've heard, is that like the the Game Boys where it's like you can play it in the sun? <laughs> yeah, you can view it in pretty much any lighting condition. Um, it's the same type of screen that you would have on a Nokia cell phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and um, so it's your assist level speed and your battery life. Is thing removable still? Yeah. The coolest thing about the new uh, display is it's actually a um, the new the new remote control can actually um, act as a standalone standalone unit, so it's actually independent from the display. Huh. And the reason for that is so that you can attach your smartphone to this really bike. right here, like on this or yeah. So you have Bluetooth in in the uh, in the new battery, uh, which allows you to have a smartphone connected to the bike as well. Wow. And that gives you a, a mapping software where you can track your rides, and and then there's a social el element where you can uh, share your rides with other riders. Really fun. I think Casey showed me something like this last year, and he was like, ah, oh, we're working on that. I was like, that's, first of all, Bionics has had some of the better displays leading up to this. And in, in my opinion, you've got like the buttons on the side, and it was removable, and I like all that. It wasn't color. I don't think it was transflective. And their display ring before, it didn't have any lights or anything. It was just up, down, and like a little red throttle. So now being able to turn things on and off, activate like integrated lights if you had them. What, what do these buttons do? Uh, so this is gonna cycle through different screens. Oh, so um, that's specifically for this display. Yes, um, and also in integrates with the smartphone app, uh, but you have different information on each screen. This is a little more detailed information. And then you have the third screen, which gives you all your bike stats. Wow. Meter and um, nice. whatever level of assist you're in and your battery life in a percentage. When this is so slim, I noticed it was able to fit just right there where you where you need it. The, the brake lever is still really reachable and even the trigger shifters, it's pretty... Yeah, they've really tied it up this area so you can connect your display and your brake cutoff switch. Yeah, um, motor inhibitors. Plugged into the hub. So is this a, is this a hydraulic brake here? Yeah, these are the new TRP Zurich uh, hydraulic disc brakes. Cool. Um, they are one of the few quad piston um, hydraulic disc brakes on the market. Yeah. So it's giving you almost double the stopping power from a single or a dual piston um, hydraulic disc brake. Are there other advantages to having four pistons? Like if one breaks, you still have three? <laughs> or like what's the... <laughs> um, it's mainly for extra braking power. So you're, you get a bigger pad. Um, and just extra braking power for when you're going down steep hills okay. and um, when you want to stop really fast. So coming back to this, a lot of times I'm seeing you almost have to like glue magnets and stuff to take hydraulic disc brakes and add a motor inhibitor. And on this one, it looks like it was almost purpose-built. Yeah, it's um, for e-bikes. By the, uh, the brake 
um, supplier, and so they have a fully integrated reed switch. Um, and just a little simple wire. Yeah, it just comes um, right into this like right dongle into thing. The, um, the Bionics hub. Right here to right there. So, yeah, very clean. I like the color, and I notice it kind of matches your shirt. Is that the new like ohm colors going on? Yeah, this is um, just our theme for, for the show this year, and um, kind of an urban commando look. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we um, we have this as our it's our off road model. So people that are using this are going onto the mountain trails and um, they're usually riding it out in the forest. Can I call out some other cool things I've noticed? Ask some questions about it. It looks like you got an air fork here. Is this like 120 millimeter travel? Um, these ones, um, they're gonna, actually gonna be 100 mils, 100 mil? um, but it is a boost fork. So it's uh, about uh, one centimeter wider than a standard fork. It's like 10 millimeters, yeah. 10 yeah mil 10 and so the spokes come in at like a, a broader angle for strength? Yeah, yeah, that uh, uh, gives kind of, uh, yeah, it's a, a little bit broader fork, so it gives you a little bit better handling, and then uh, a little bit wider spoke angle, so yeah, it gives you a little bit stronger spoke angle. Yeah, for sure. and I noticed you got the through axle there, like 15 millimeter for strength as well. Yeah, that's definitely standard on all of our bikes. Um, also adds to the, the handling ability of the bike. Also the bigger tires. So what are these like the 2.8s or 3s? Yeah, this the is the plus a, size. Uh, 27 and a half, uh, 3 inch. Sweet, man. Um, so we really like the extra cushioning um, factor you get from a bigger tire. Yeah. Um, gives you amazing grip when you're going up gravel trails. Yeah. Um, so bigger tire, you don't have to put as much pressure in it. Yeah, so it's could it's, this is a hardtail, right? Yep. So that's gonna kind of smooth it out a little bit, and we've got a hub motor in it. So, you know, if this was full suspension, having a hub motor, you'd have some more unsprung weight. What you get with the Bionics D series is like a little bit quieter. You get the regenerative braking, and then if you have a hardtail, then it's it's like a pretty good solution. It's pretty torquey, from my experience. Yeah, they're a really responsive motor. Um, it's gonna take you up any hill that you that you want to go up. Um, and it's got, yeah, it's got four different assist levels that are uh, you can select right from the cockpit. Does it still have like four different regen levels? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So when you're coming back down those big hills, then you can use the regenerative braking in the motor. Awesome. Um, so the the direct dive type motor is a gearless um, hub motor, so you can utilize that regenerative braking and uh, while you're braking going downhill. Yeah. Pull back some of that energy. I like this. Is is that a, a charging port like integrated? Yeah. Right. So you don't have to take the battery off if you don't want to. Exactly. You can charge it on or off the bike. Yeah. Um, takes four to five hours to for a full charge. Um, if you're only halfway down, then it's going to be two to three hours for a full charge. Sweet man. I love the bottle cage bosses. Thanks. Yeah. We can uh, we can mount a bottle here or we can mount a lock. There's like, I noticed this other little chain guide or something just to, is that to keep it from flopping off or? Yeah, especially when you're uh, riding off road, um, you could be on some bumpy terrain. Can we come over to the other side? And, uh, yeah, I want to get a little closer look. Looks like you've got kind of a tapered head tube, extra strong. Yeah, yeah, all of our There's bikes are guide. featuring tapered head tube. Um, so yeah, this is just going to keep your chain in line. We're using a one by 10 um, drive train. Yeah. So going on the, the bumpy train. XT. So that's a pretty, that's that's higher up there for sure. Yeah, we really like the, the shifting of the XT system. Um, it also features a, a clutch, um, which keeps the derailleur more solid. Can you point that out? Um, so here's the clutch system. So this would be turned off when you want to remove the uh, rear wheel. You can huh. turn the clutch off. Then once you're going, uh, once you're going back on the bike and riding it off road, turn the clutch on, and what it does is basically stiffens up the derailleur huh. so that you don't get as much chain flop. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it kind of keeps it from bouncing around. I also noticed the hollow spindle right here. Is there, or what is that called, where it's like lighter weight or stiffer or something? Yeah, this is based on a, a standard um, with uh, bottom bracket. 63 mil? Uh, it's a 63 mil BCA, so British standard. Cool. Um, and then we have our own custom crank set, um, which is designed specifically for this bike. I like that. Yeah, they're the, those are the bottle, bottle cages again. Um, so a couple question marks I had. How, how much is this bike? Uh, this bike will retail for $47.99. Sweet. And 
and uh, will be available starting early 2017. Okay, and what's the website? Where do people learn more about this stuff? Uh, just come to ohmcycles.com and you can check out some more specs awesome. and uh, you can watch a video on our, all of our bikes. Video? Is this you? Are you going off road with this thing? Do you hire uh, some pros? Yes, we've actually done uh, a lot of off road riding. Um, with our bikes. Well, yeah. you and I kind of went off-road. It was like a fire road or something last time. That yeah, was cool. Yeah, exactly. Cool. We, well, uh, took it to the next level. I'm excited to, to see more of these out on the market, maybe do another visit or something in, in the future. Great job, man. This is a beautiful-looking bike. Great. Look forward to it. Cheers. Yeah.